think guys back again but this time we are playing with the ICBM mod pack mod that's in the mod pack volts so here's the stuff so we've got to start off with the basics so what you're going to need to make to make this is missile module which is basically five pieces of steel a basic circuit and a coal um, when this first came out it used to be oil but thankfully it's now changed to coal so and it gives you two missile modules but they don't stack as you can see uh, they do not stack unfortunately so basically we're going to go through the creation of them this is a tier one missile launcher um, this bit holds the missile you just put it in. Um, this obviously type in your coordinates, like, like anything. You know, there's a certain distance that they can go, depending on the launcher. So this is a tier one. I think its maximum range is 250 blocks. I think. But obviously, it's got an accuracy and an inaccuracy of 15 blocks. Sometimes if you put the coordinates down here, you can go 15 blocks in any direction. And that's the area. So, it's alright, but well that's increased. You get rid of this. So if you don't have one of these on, it's a tier 1 support frame. That'll do 30 blocks in accuracy. So, what's that doing? This one is a tier 2. It gives you seven blocks in accuracy, and this one you can get a detonation height for air burst and lock height, which I genuinely don't actually know what that is, but it could work. Whatever. So this is a tier two support launch. So this this is a thirty block in accuracy as well, if you don't have it. So basically, these are the same thing. Upgraded. Um. This is a tier 3. Now this is a special one. So this is a tier 3 support frame. 30 blocks in accuracy if you didn't have it. So you can place your missile just like anything else. But you can. But there is a 0 block in accuracy. So it will land exactly where you put the coordinates. You've got detonation height and lock height. But this one's also got a frequency. So you can use that with one of these. as a laser designator. Which are pretty cool. So I'll show you that. Um, so yeah, we'll go through how we make them. So the tier one the launcher is bronze and steel, like that, and it gives you a launcher. And the control panel is glass, basic circuit, and a copper cable. Um, so that's that, and then we go. The support frame is just bronze and an H, so that basically gives you that. And to make the tier 2, obviously, put a bit a launcher platform, tier 2 launcher here. Just put steel either side of it. That gives you a launcher. And the launcher controller is a launcher control panel, an advanced circuit, and six steel ingots with copper wire underneath. This can be either, um, either copper this copper wire or this copper wire. So it's not really much a difference. I'm going to create um, that one. No. Anyway, if you go on either thing mate, it'll basically make if you put that in there, just crafting bench it'll come up with that. So I don't really care what the difference is. Um, and then to upgrade the launcher support frame is the tier one in the middle surrounded by ingots like, like so and then obviously to make the launcher frame launcher platform is steel plate so that's four steel and a square gives you a plate and the launcher platform too and this one's gold with an elite circuit 
copper wire in the launcher platform 2 launcher controller 2 with that will give you a tier 3 and this is the launcher tier 3 four, eh, 6 steel plates with the tier 2 in the middle so basically that's how you upgraded them for that to that to that so we're going to use this one over here and there's a lovely testificate village just over there that we are going to rain on their parade and um, so I'll put ICBM so like tier 1 tier, no, tier 3 sorry tier 3 tier 3 so this is basically how you do it like that that and that now I should not go to the copper wire you can use basically any copper wire like that and this oh and another thing as well as I forgot to mention um, these take different types different amounts of energy this one's 400 kilojoules um, this one is actually 60 kilojoules and this one's 800 kilojoules so I thought it would go down but it doesn't so yeah and you just connect it the power to the launcher here there's not much power in this one I think I'll just connect it up to this one instead since there's loads of power so you got this um, there are two ways to launch these there are levers, or obviously the laser designator. So we'll get ready of everything that we didn't need. We'll save room for some rockets. So the conventional missile is just made by a condensed explosive and a missile module. The condensed explosive is basically TNT, two TNT, and a redstone. It gives you three condensed explosives. So I'll show you that. And there we go. You just right click that or you can right click the middle one and just place it in if you've not got it in the hotbar. So we'll set this to a frequency of like let's say one. So and with the laser designator you right click on your controller like so and it says it's frequency set to 1 so this is what it does and obviously statistic for it loads how do I open load there we go so basically we're going to put it on one of the houses like so gives you a countdown and then it launches and you actually see the missile launch which is pretty cool and they go pretty high obviously this one's got an accuracy uh, zero inaccuracy zero even so, there you go uh, it just blew up a wee bit of the village so I thought it was aiming for this, but obviously it's just aiming for this. It looks kind of pissed off. Because I broke his house. But anyway, we'll go back and we'll put another missile in. Um, I think we'll use an incendiary explosive this time. Which sounds cool. It's pretty fun. Um, do, 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 do. I'm just going to show you a couple of these. No, I'll just leave the Sinjedi there now. Um, there are loads of different missiles. So I'll show you one of each colour. These are tier 1 missiles. These are tier 2. And the blue ones are tier 3. And these are tier 4. Red Matter's missile is just insane. So is an antimatter missile. So. But what we'll show you is... Uh, Sonic missile. Um and 
shoot conflagration missile as well. So put this in. You might want to prepare yourselves for the noise it makes. It is pretty loud. I mean like it's insane. Um well it's insane for me because I'm using headset, so what we'll do is we'll just send it over. Now, obviously I'm just going to go over. So here comes the airstrike. Yeah, there's a missile there. Now what this does is it sends all the blocks up in the air. Which you will be able to see very well. And it's very loud. It flings everything up in the air and the blocks land. And the certificate just died because he must have got thrown up. So that's what this does. So, as you can see, it's pretty destructive. So, I'll go show you the conflagration missile. This is pretty cool. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. So, there we go. And obviously, it's bloody huge. So, I'll just put it, mm, put it in the center. So, obviously, you should be able to see a wee, there we go, green light. So, here comes the missile. This is pretty cool. Pretty expensive to make as well. So, once again, this is a little bit loud if it actually works. So, here it comes. Okay, it's a bit like the Sonic console. But, uh, yeah, it worked that time. As you can see, the minimap, it is bloody red. So, yeah, that's that missile. There's no loaded proper. Oh, there we go. Now, I don't understand why it just turned it tonight. I think it just turned the time. So, yeah, basically, that's what that does. And as you can probably see, there's lava everywhere. Obviously, dotted about the place. So that's what that does. It is incredible. So that's that one. So thank you for watching this episode. If you do watch it. Um, I'll be doing another couple of ICBM ones. Like part 2. I think I'll show you maybe a nuke or something. So until then, have fun and goodbye.